Professional pitcher Mike Bolsinger is suing the Houston Astros. Can you guess the last team he faced when he was in Major League Baseball? Here's my thoughts on whether or not he'll win and whether or not he'll be the last one to file suit. Hey guys, it's Josh, the 90 Note All, coming to you today to talk about uh, the lawsuit that's been filed against the Houston Astros. Before we jump into that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You'll get notifications when a new video comes up. Try and do them every day, at least during the weekdays. With the season about to start, we're going to have lots of interviews. I'm going to do some recording and some highlights, hopefully, of local college games. And I'm still working on those documentaries for Baseball in the Northwest and Juco Baseball. I'm actually going to do some filming this upcoming weekend. we got some practice games that I'm going to go photograph and film. I'm excited. A lot of <laughs> Baseball is finally here. I'm, I'm excited for that. But guys, let's jump into this. There is a lawsuit. It's officially been filed against the Houston Astros. Mike Bolsinger who in 2017 was trying to make a spot for himself on the Toronto's Blue Jays official roster, their 25 man. And he went up against a Houston Astros team, got shelled and got sent down. And that was the last time he played in major league baseball. And he, I think he's still in the minors. I'm not sure if he's still playing or not. I just know that his last major league game was against the Astros. And I think there's even data. I haven't gone through and looked at everything. I think there's even data showing that there was banging, there was definite cheating in the game in which he played in. And even if there wasn't, you know, this is going to be an interesting lawsuit. There is definite proof that the Astros cheated in 2017. And he's not the only person, not the only pitcher who has been affected by this, who looks back at their time in Major League Baseball and can say, I faced the Astros, I had a bad performance and got demoted and haven't been able to get back or haven't been able to work my way through that situation. This is a this is a tricky one. I mean, I'm not a lawyer. I don't know a lot about law, but there's something to this. There's something that I think the right lawyer, the right argument, there might be something to this. So Bolsinger is asking for $31 million, which is the bonuses given to the Astros for winning the World Series in 2017 and he wants that money to be given to uh, I think it's part of the retired Major League Baseball uh, fund to help guys who uh, obviously played decades ago help them with their retirement I think he also has it for another charity he wants the money to go there to help out so it's not like he's asking for 31 million dollars for him he's actually wanting that money to go other places to benefit other people connected to the game and that's great i love that i love that it's for him he's he's making a point uh about wanting them to be held accountable but he's not doing it for the money he's doing it for to help others as well so this is going to be interesting it really is i think there's enough data that even the casual fan has been able to search and find that is going to make this a, an interesting argument and yeah you can't say well had he had a good outing he would have found a spot on the roster and, and stayed a major leaguer, you can't say that, but you also can't say that he wouldn't have. I mean, he might have actually earned his spot had not been for the game against the Astros. So this is a, I don't know, it's it's tricky. It's interesting. I'm, I want to see how this plays out because this will have a big impact because there's a few other pitchers who have been talked about and have talked openly about the fact that they faced the Astros that year, got shelled, and it cost them Major League Baseball time. They got demoted for it. So I, I don't know what's going to happen here. Like I said, I'm not a lawyer. But at the same time, even as a, just an individual thinking this through, there is enough proof to make a, a judge think about this, to make a judge question it. Even a jury, would, you know, if somehow it goes to that. There's enough information out there, enough proof that I don't know how this would go. I don't know. And this just, it compiles on to what's happening this off season. Um, I, I have no problem with the lawsuit. I really don't. I mean, if you think that their Astros cheating cost you money, cost you a chance to continue your career as a major league baseball player, then yeah, yeah, hold them accountable. I don't see a problem with that. So we'll see how it plays out. Odds are it's going to take a couple years probably for all this to play out. Um, in the meantime, this lawsuit actually might 
force Major League Baseball to come out with all their information. This could be something that this could be big. This could actually force an external investigation into Major League Baseball. And who knows what they'll find then? Who knows what will pop up? Um, you know, there's a lot of fans who are going to be watching this. Obviously, a lot of baseball players who are going to be watching this. But I would not be surprised if in the next month or two, we see more former pitchers coming out and filing lawsuits against the Astros and against Major League Baseball. I think it's going to be going to the top. This is going to be interesting. It's going to be drawn out. It's going to be a long time. But we might get a lot of information from this as well. So we'll have to see what happens. You know, I don't know. It, it could be resolved tomorrow. It could be the next five, ten years. I, who knows? But we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll keep track of this. And anything major happens, I'm sure we'll discuss it. So, guys, I'm Josh, and now you know it all. Just wanted to come talk to you really quickly about that. And you know what? Baseball season is finally here. This weekend, I'm going out to catch some college practice games as they get ready for their season that starts in, like, two and a half weeks. I'm so ready for it. So ready for this. So, guys, have a good evening. Have fun. Baseball season. I think it's here.